In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert FLV files to MP4. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you enjoy what I'm doing here today, by all means like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with all of your e-learning colleagues. If you're like me and have been making e-learning for 10, 20 years, as I have, and you've been using the authoring tool Adobe Captivate, some of your earlier courses might need updating. And we've all anticipated the ability to import classic Adobe Captivate projects into the all new Adobe Captivate. We know that that's going to be coming at some point. One of the problems with that is that many of these old videos that we have within our e-learning courses are in FLV format. So I'm going to show you today how you can convert those using uh, a really cool open source tool that should be available to just about everyone called Handbrake. This is literally the oldest course that I still have access to that was created with an earlier version of Adobe Captivate. I'm not exactly sure which version, but I'm going to guess that it was no sooner than Adobe Captivate 8. In fact, one of the interesting things about it is that the resolution is only 800 by 600. So these were really tiny e-learning courses. One of the things that I discovered when looking at this and considering how I would go about updating this course if I was able to import it in the all new Adobe Captivate was that there were some resources in this course in the library that are just not really up to date. So I've got four different videos in this accessibility course and you'll notice by their file extension in the Captivate library that they're FLV format. And the new Captivate obviously doesn't bring in FLV format. And even Media Encoder, which is a tool I used for many years to convert different multimedia formats into another, does not accept FLV any, anymore. FLV is flash-based video. So what we need to do is we need to export these. So I'm gonna click the first one in my library here hold down my shift key and select the last one. And then using the export icon in the toolbar in the library, I can export these to a place on my computer here. In this case, I created a folder on my desktop specifically for exported videos. And I'm gonna export all of those there. For now, I can minimize Adobe Captivate Classic. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Handbrake, which is the application that we're going to use today to convert our old FLV videos into MP4. The issue with FLV specifically is that you might think of using Adobe Media Encoder, but just like all Adobe software, Adobe has completely abandoned anything related to Shockwave Flash. So that includes FLV format as well. So using an, an open source or free application such as Handbrake here will allow you to bypass that and actually be able to convert the FLVs into a convenient MP4 container. The easiest way to do this, you could choose options here, but you could just grab the whole folder that you intend to convert and drag it to the center area here. We want to add all of the current items that are in our queue to the queue. And when we're ready to start converting, we can press start queue. So this will start with the needs.flv file and convert it to MP4. Next, it will do the next item until all four of those videos have been converted to MP4. Okay, so the queue is finished now. I can literally close a handbrake here at this point, and we can return to our Adobe Captivate Classic project at this point here, and we can import those videos. The default location where handbrake stores your videos is in your default videos folder. So if I go there, you can see 
that I have versions of the original FLV file now in MP4 format. So I literally can select all of those and click on open and those get imported into my library here. So this one is the needs.flv file. Before I can put the new needs.mp4 file there, I'll have to delete this because it is slide video. And I can take needs.mp4 and we can place it on the slide. We can choose slide video and we can go with all the defaults here and that will bring it in. Looks good. So let's uh, just do a little bit of alignment here. I'm gonna select the title and the one of the buttons down below and the video itself. We can go into the alignment window here and just make sure that they're aligned properly. And I want the video to be left justified with that title. That looks good to me. So I'm just gonna repeat that process for all of the videos in this project here. So this is visual impairment. So we can go ahead and delete that. Take the new visual impairment MP4, which is sometimes hard to see. Yeah, there it is there. We'll bring that into the same spot here. Again, choose the defaults there. And we'll just align this so that they're equally spaced and left aligned like so. Find the next video. This one is hard of hearing, so we'll get rid of that one here and we'll bring in the hearing loss video. Again, just take care of our alignment here. Mobility impairment, we'll get rid of that video here and we'll just find mobility1.mp4, bring that in. And make sure that alignment is taken care of. And we can click on select unused items at this point because I now have all of them replaced. And I can trash can those FLV files and never think about them again. I can go ahead and save this. And obviously you'll get a warning like this project will be upgraded to the latest version of Adobe Captivate, which if you were at the Adobe Learning Summit in 2025, you'll know that to be able to import classic Captivate projects, which is something we'll be getting in the future, it does require to be updated to the last version of Adobe Captivate Classic. So we're going to go ahead and click on Save. And now we can exit this project knowing that we're one step closer to being able to convert those to the all new Adobe Captivate when that feature comes out. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.